Hey guys, this is John from US Dash Camera. Today I got a review on the new Blackview Power Magic Ultra Battery B130X. So let's get started. If you guys are interested in purchasing this dash camera, I'll provide some links down in the description to several different retailers including Amazon and Black Box My Car. These are affiliate links that do help support my channel. I do actually buy some of the products I review, so any little bit uh, helps the channel out. Thanks. Now they did send this out for review, so I would like to thank Blackview for sending a review unit out. Now some people might wonder uh, why would you need one of these? Do you need one of these? And I'm going to cover some of that here, but let's take a look at some of the specs first. You can see it is a 7500 milliamp hour at 12.8 volts. That gives it 96 watt hours. And this is a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is ideal for uh, vehicle batteries or extreme temperatures because it can really withstand high heat or really cold temperatures. Here you can see fast charging. You can get a full charge in 50 minutes if you hardwire it or 90 minutes if you use the cigarette lighter socket. So we'll talk about that a little later. And it says it can get up to 30 hours of parking mode. It's pretty compact. There are a few upgraded features from the previous models. One of the features that Blackview said is upgraded from the previous model is a uh, this more accurate built-in fuel gauge integrated circuit so it gets much more accurate uh, battery status. It still has a USB port. It still has the wireless app so you can connect your phone to it and see the status at any time. And of course it does have uh, battery protection circuitry so it's going to shut off for example if it gets too hot or whatever other various reasons. Now taking a look at it, you know, it might seem pretty big to people that haven't used dash cam batteries. And some people might wonder, why can't I just use a big battery bank, the kind that you charge your cell phone with? Well, for one, the lithium iron phosphate battery is going to be much more durable in the extreme temperatures. But also those batteries tend to not uh, charge even close to how fast this can charge, which means you might discharge that entire battery using parking mode and it might take four hours of driving to charge it back up, which isn't reasonable. So it is smaller than the previous version. I don't remember the specs at the top of my head, but I will put those up on the screen. Here you can see the new model B130X. The previous one was the B124, so that space, the 30, I would assume stands for 30 hours of runtime. And that 30 hours of runtime is with the DR900 one channel system. So I did test this here in Minnesota. It's very cold. Uh, it's 20 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit this week. And when I tested it, uh, I was using the DR900 X2 channel and I was also using the 4G LTE module so that's basically the most power demanding camera you could use from them. Well actually there's three channel models too but very few people use those. And I got approximately 18 hours. Now that was when I was parked at home. If I was parked say in a really busy parking lot and it's recording non-stop, it would probably get less than that, but that's still pretty good. I, I was expecting less than 18 hours, so I was pretty happy with that amount of time. Now here you can see on the side, one feature I really like is the previous model, you had to switch it to either low or high if you were using the cigarette socket charger or the hardwiring, and now it has a built-in circuitry to know what it's charging from or whatever, uh, adjust the uh, input by itself. So it's just on or off. I really like that. 
So as I said, there's still a USB charging port, so you could, for example, charge your phone off of it. Here we got the dash camera output, and then this is the input. So overall, it's you know very sturdy. Um, like I said, smaller than the old one, so this might fit better in a glove box. Now one thing you may notice if you've seen the previous versions is there is no battery expansion anymore. Now Blackview told me that the reason they did that is because very few people actually use that feature. So to help keep costs down they just removed it. If you want to use a, an expandable battery you'd have to either look at their previous B124X or you could take a look at the Black Box My Car Power Cell 8. So now the main reason you're going to want to use this is for parking mode. If you don't use parking mode, you wouldn't need this at all. You could just use the cigarette power cable that comes with the dash camera. But personally, if you're getting a Blackview camera and you're not using the parking mode, you're sort of wasting your money. So you should definitely use parking mode. You can use the hard wiring kit that comes with the cameras also. But that can add extra strain on your car battery, your starter battery, especially in cold climates that might not be ideal. So some people like to run these batteries because it's basically charging only while you're driving and provides a decent amount of power for your parking mode while your car is off and then you're not straining your battery. Now I would argue with the price of this, this is $360 MSRP. Some people might think that shortening the lifespan of your car battery isn't that big of a deal when this costs $360. So this is definitely more of a high-end luxury accessory for Blackview dash cameras. I don't think everyone needs one, but they can be pretty useful, especially in cold climates. So now I want to talk about the different cables that come with it. As I said before, you can hardwire it, which is going to be the way I recommend everyone does it. This is how you're going to get the fast charging and you're going to be able to get a full charge in 50 minutes. Now if you've never hardwired something like this, there are pretty good instructions or tutorials on the web. Down in the description I'll provide a link down to Black Box My Cars tutorial. It's a very useful resource. But again, this is the option I'm going to say everyone should go with if they can. So here is the 12 volt cigarette adapter. So this will just plug into your 12 volt socket and you're going to get a full charge in about 90 minutes. And I think that's a little too long for most people, depending on how long they're running parking mode, which is why I don't really recommend using this unless you really have to. Now, to connect to the cameras itself, we have the cable that you would connect your dash cams three wire hardwiring kit that came with it. Most newer Blackview cameras have a three wire hardwiring kit. One, I believe, let me double check off the top of my head. One of, uh, I believe, yellow is going to be the uh, connection that's only powered when your car is on. And then red is always on. Now I could be mixing those up. So, uh, Make sure you read the instructions if you're doing this yourself. And then of course black is ground. Now here we do also have a cigarette style 12 volt socket. If you have one of the older Blackview dash cameras that uh, switch to parking mode after a set given amount of time, uh, then it, this is actually what I used for testing. Uh, you can just use this and it's pretty simple, but uh, what I like about Hardwiring it with this is as soon as your vehicle turns off it automatically switches to parking mode With this it might take five or in some cases like the last time I measured It was 20 minutes before it switched to parking mode for some reason which means it's spending uh, More energy while it's just sitting there Now one thing I wanted to talk about also is an optional accessory uh, not sold by Blackview specifically, but you know, if for whatever reason you're not getting enough charge and you want to bring the battery inside and charge it up, there's a lot of these kind of wall adapters. But I will say you have to be careful with which ones you get because if the amperage isn't high enough, um, the battery might try to be drawing too much power. And my last one 
was overheating and you know you don't want one of these to overheat and melt I literally had one of these melt because it got too hot so I was able to find one that seemed to have a high enough amperage and you know I'll provide a link down in the description if you're interested in this because now that I finally found one that works well with charging batteries I'm not afraid of burning my house down so that's uh, really useful if you want to charge your battery inside your home at times or maybe just in your garage and your toolbox or something quickly I wanted to touch on the app the app isn't very uh, in-depth but it is very easy to connect it'll pretty much automatically detect the Bluetooth connection of the battery and once you click it it'll connect to it and it will actually tell you how much your charge is and it'll tell you if it is charging how much uh, power it's getting so it's it can be useful just to see uh, once in a while you can gauge how much power you're using uh, how much charging you're getting from whatever you're charging from so it's not a must use uh, feature of the camera but it is useful so guys overall I've been using different dash camera batteries like this for quite a few years and it's an obvious improvement uh, if you have seen these in the past and weren't sold on them in the past then you probably aren't going to be sold on them now if you just bought the recent one B124X and maybe you're not getting just enough uh, runtime for your parking mode maybe this is the key but again it is $360 so that's pretty steep price I'd say if you're a couple generations behind with maybe one of the old Cell Link Neo or Cell Link Battery Bs then uh, this would be a fantastic upgrade for you Again, if you're interested in purchasing this, there are affiliate links down in the description that do help support my channel. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe. And as usual, drive safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.